सो आई एम डेफिनेटली श्योर द टाइम दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी फाइनली लाइव ऑन द चैनल इट्स गोइंग बी समवेयर अराउंड एंड ऑफ डिसम्बर ऑफ ट्वेंटी First of all I believe everybody got a productive 2024 I am not going to comment how it was for me but definitely in this particular video I am going to talk about a couple of things that I am planning to learn in 2025 specifically for my own learning for improving my own skill set so this channel was actually made with the perspective that I am not just able to give my thoughts and opinions and knowledge base around different things that i know but also i made this channel to make sure that i am able to share a couple of interesting more personal and more goal oriented things as well so this is one of those videos where i'm going to talk about what is something that i am looking forward to uh, in terms of learning in 2025 right this might not be super beneficial for somebody who is like let's say in their first year of their college and watching this video but it's just a general update so i just wanted to make sure that we are able to share that with you guys So without any further delay let's just start and before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for just go forward and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well so that you never miss a video from the channel so let's just start so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algo camp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video first and the foremost thing that i'm planning to learn is not just not directly related to the tech but it's more uh, related to uh, finance right so i've been working as a full time engineer for quite some time now i guess it's been more than 4 years or 4 odd years i guess so managing money is something that is super crucial trust me if you are in college and you have extra time trust me and you get an opportunity to learn all of this do that otherwise you are going to face pretty hard time as well so i wanted to learn a couple of things around finance how exactly things work in the stock market how exactly uh, people understand trading all of that uh, economical aspects of money managing money personal finance investing all of that this is something that is kind of like getting i'm trying to get into i have already started to learn like in the last quarter i spent some time to at least understand the basic jargons of a lot of things that i was absolutely not able to understand and if somebody used to tell that okay this is going to be a great share i used to be like i don't have any knowledge about it let's not talk about it so at least i am able to do some conversation i started already learning a couple of things around that i am looking forward to some paid resources looking forward to some free resources i'm not going to talk about what are the resources that i'm going to look forward to but the thing is i believe this is going to be important because for a longer run i want to make sure that i understand money well i understand the other aspects of the world as well i just don't want to be a tech junkie who just knows how to deploy a server probably for a particular type of a logic and maybe just teach all of those things i also want to make sure that i understand what is going on apart from the tech in the complete world as well and understanding finance 
is going to be helpful for me to make sure that I'm moving towards my second interesting goal as well that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, this is going to be something that is first on my list. I want to make sure that if somebody talks about any kind of a chart, any kind of a trading options or anything, I'm able to at least understand that if I'm not able to like practically do it, I want to be in a situation at least in 2025 to be able to understand everything. I'm going to make shorter goals. I'm not going to make like a too big of a goal. But yeah, this is going to be the first one on my list that I'm looking forward in 2025. Goal number two. Now, as I mentioned that uh, my second goal is kind of like related to the first one. So I have some knowledge already around how exactly cryptocurrencies work, how exactly the complete world of crypto more or less works and everything. But understanding and understanding how trades and everything goes on and how you can be more beneficial in terms of trades in crypto is going to be kind of like directly related to the understanding of finance. If I'm able to uh, get into the world of trading around crypto as well, that would be definitely great. I'm looking forward to and I'm looking forward to get my understanding more deeper into the world of cryptocurrencies, bitcoins, how exactly the complete architectures internally work, what are some of the recent improvements and recent work that is being contributed to in the world of crypto because you guys must have already noticed in the news, in the market, in the charts as well that it's again kind of like getting that particular kind of a hype that it was having like way earlier in a few years back. So this this might be I believe a good time to actually get more deeper understanding before like like if you will carefully see I generally do not have any lectures or any topics or talks around crypto and everything. It's not like I don't know about it. It's like I want to get as much deeper understanding about anything before I start talking about it. So crypto is going to be something and uh, like understanding of the complete architecture, new improvements, new technologies coming up, right? New, um, I would say news around exchanges, what is going on in the complete world of crypto. This is going to be something uh, that I'm going to keep as my second priority, which is very closely related to my first goal as well, that I want to definitely make sure that the world of finance is not, uh, I would say, um, new to me or I'm not able to understand most of the jargon. I don't want to be in a, into that situation. So both of the goals are going to be hand in hand. Definitely the first one is going to have slightly more higher priority. But yeah, this is the second goal that I'm definitely looking forward to in 2025. Now, uh, the third goal that I am going to keep in order to make sure that I'm able to improve more is going to be somewhere around cloud. My current nature of work in Microsoft definitely asks me to have good understanding of cloud infrastructure, big data, uh, PySpark, Python, all of this. So this is going to be the third goal definitely that along with my full time job, whatever are the newer things that I'm getting more introduced to something like big data, something around cloud tech, understanding scale for very heavy pipelines altogether. I'm able to try to like contribute more to that and try to move towards a senior engine role as well. So this is going to be the third thing and this is something that is non-negotiable because this is part of my job. This is something that I have to do daily. So this is there will be some level of learning that is going to be happening daily there as well. So what I learned today will be something that is going to happen almost five days a week. So this is important as well. Why? Because most of the time that we are looking at in modern systems, we are looking at a humongous amount of scale that these uh, tech products are now is getting you see any particular uh, application you see any particular company they are like looking at humongous amount of scale because of the exposure of internet that a lot of people are getting so understanding bigger cloud infrastructures and handling these infrastructure is going to be something which will be very helpful for me for my job as well and is something that excites me a lot as well understanding uh, more deeper systems not just having knowledge of system design with respect to an interview but also having a couple of great infrastructures built under my, under my belt is going to be great for my portfolio it will be great for my upcoming career as well so this is going to be the third thing which is kind of like non-negotiable it is going to happen daily it's going to happen weekly but yeah this is something that i'm very bullish on where i'm definitely feeling that uh, improving knowledge on all of this aspect is going to be helpful for me for my upcoming engineering career as well because definitely coding is not something that I'm leaving for quite some time that I can see in the near coming future so this is going to be my third priority definitely altogether and that was it I just do not want to keep too many goals for 2025 that I am not able to pursue yes there are a couple of personal goals around health 
there are a couple of personal other goals as well something around travel and everything but i don't think that is going to be like super high priority as of now your yeah, health is going to be there because it's kind of like a daily commitment now but uh, these are some things in terms of learning that i am definitely trying to put some time on probably daily or weekly uh let me know what are your plans for 2025 the whole tech eco space is actually changing quite drastically so i am definitely assuming that you guys must be having some of the goals in your mind as well do let me know in the comment section and this was just a general update video that i wanted to share with you so that we have a goal together and we are able to pursue towards that goal together as well that being said let's wrap this particular video here we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care bye bye i'm sanket singh signing off